And that usually leads to a pretty hard-fought game. B.A., every inch of real estate between the lines will be contested tonight. Neither of these teams will give an inch. I expect it to be tight, physical, and hard-fought. Now here's Jordan. Stewart, a screen on George. Pass to Stewart. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. High percentage look right off the bat. Here's George. A reliable go-to guy for them. He's averaging around 26 and a half a game. From 11 feet away, the Pistons clear it. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. I think it was a lot of bad decisions leading to a lot of poor looks. Patience was not their best quality in that basketball game. Now here's Leonard. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Six to shoot. Got a hand on it. Well, twice on the pipes. Jeremy Grant says no, sir. Pass to Jordan. This one for three. Knocks down the long J. And we knew it was coming, but didn't know when. MP has signed his shoe deal. New Balance was smart to grab him when they could. I know a number of big names have been eyeing MP for a deal like this. And it's in there. Well, he's got size and he has touch. It makes interior scoring easy for Kawhi Leonard. Here's Jordan. Stewart, a screen on George. Pass to Cunningham. Back to Jordan. Outside for Grant. And he converts the layup. Jeremy, well, Jeremy Grant has figured out how to be opportunistic on the interior. Nicely done there. Here's Leonard. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Stewart, a screen on Jackson. Pass to Stewart. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Now here's Leonard. He has a clear impact on this offense, putting up over 19 a game. Boy, when you think about Kawhi Leonard's career, one of the things that I'm always struck by is how he has been a model of efficiency. So smart when it comes to getting his shot and taking the right shots. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Here's Cunningham, defended by Jackson. Back to Jordan. Let's it go from deep. Paul George pulls it in. You know, Doris with Kawhi. The career numbers speak for themselves. That's exactly right. A shade under 50% from the floor. In range to get to 40% from deep. No matter how you slice it, Kawhi is an efficient number one option. Here's Cunningham following the score by the Clippers. Now Jordan. He's got five. Pass to Cunningham. And here's Grant from the arc. And the three-pointer goes. Grant's got five. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Here's Leonard, covered by Diallo. The fader. Shot by Leonard, no good. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Now here's Jordan. Grant with a screen on George. Jordan, the pass to Graham. Oh, Graham throws it down. The offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Leonard gets the bucket. Well, this might be Kawhi Leonard's favorite shot. It gets him in rhythm. The mid-range jumper so silky. Pass to Jordan. 
Stewart, a screen on George. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Jackson, left side. And stolen by Diallo. Here's Cunningham. Fires the three. Oh, can't get it. Misses his first attempt. Jackson outside. Leonard outside. Pass to Zubats. Leonard with the ball. Just five on the clock. Over Cunningham. Leonard can't get it to go. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Grant, the pass to Jordan. Here's Cunningham. To the left wing. Grant outside. Pass to Jordan. For three, Diallo. He can't hit that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. And I love the aggressiveness they showed at the start of that game. They were really ready to attack the rim. You know, typically when you go that hard to the rack, you can make a living at the charity stripe. And that's exactly what happened. You count that one. That'll drive your coach crazy failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Now here's Jackson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to George. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. From deep, Jordan. And the Pistons, another three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very... With a whole new group out there. And the Clippers have possession. They trail by 14. Five to shoot. Back to Kennard. Over Jordan. Kennard can't get it to go. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Jordan goes in. Pass to Bay. Now Jordan. Inside. Miles' shot is good. And the Pistons lead by 16. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Bledsoe finds Ibaka. Can they get it? And it's good. Two points. Well, just so good at taking advantage of the mid-range. Marcus Morris feels comfortable in that area. Pass to Jordan. The three. The Clippers grab the miss. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. And they swept the team last season. Got the upper hand and sustained the momentum. Well, a year ago, there was a big gap in talent between the two teams. But changes are always made, and we'll see how they match up this time around. Detroit has gone four of nine from beyond the three-point line in this first quarter. Now here's Jordan. The three is up. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Pass to Ibaka. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Grant the screen to the paint. Oh, Grant throws it down. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Pass to man. Bledsoe outside. And he drives in. 
And he lays it up and in. Yeah, at times he's most dangerous when he's attacking the basket. Hard for defenders to rotate over fast enough to cut Bledsoe off. Now here's Grant. Nine points in the game. Out to the right wing. Down low. Here's Lyles. Back to Jordan. To the middle. Stolen by Bledsoe. Remaining in the first. Here's Kennard. Rebound Detroit. Jordan's got his fifth rebound in this one. Lyles a screen. Pass to Bay. Back to Jordan. To the inside. Here's Lyles. And there's another one for the Pistons. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've got. And he stays with it. Ibaka with a screen on Jordan. And the call is going to be yes on Illegal's first personal foul. Detroit with the ball. 22 was their biggest lead. Stewart, a screen on George. To the middle. Zubac with the steal. Setting the floor for Detroit. Jeremy Grant out there with Hamadou Diallo. Then it's Isaiah Stewart. Then there's Cunningham. And it's Jordan in a two-guard. Now here's Jordan. Last game out, we saw him score 42. Back to Grant. Pass to Cunningham. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Jackson. Tipped away. The Clippers have gone six of 11 here in the second quarter. Zubats screen. Oh, there's the alley. Up high and down it goes on the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Grant. Nine points in the game. Are you serious? That is some power from a point guard. Oh, I love backcourt players with some ups. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. To the wing on the left. Jordan inside. Jackson on him. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 16. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Now here's Diallo. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Jordan with it. He's picked up by Zubats. He got a piece of it, and he's able to get it back. The Pistons need to get one up quick. For three, Diallo. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds now. It's George with the drive. Kicks it out to Jackson from deep. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Boy, it's hard not to think about Paul George and what many consider to be that devastating leg injury he suffered. There were people who doubted whether he could come back. And now, stronger than ever. Here's Cunningham. 14 points for him, last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Now here's George. Zubak passes to Jackson. Leonard on the wing. Three-pointer. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got his fifth assist in this one. And with Paul George in that injury. As it happened, we weren't sure he'd ever play again. That's exactly right. It shows the determination he has and how much love for the game of basketball. He overcame that physical setback and the mental toll that's part of that and still enjoying an incredible NBA career. Now here's Leonard. 11 points in the game. It's George on the wing. 
Zubac with a screen on Jordan. The lead now in single digits. George has got 10 points in the quarter. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Pass to Jordan. And stolen by Leonard. Inside. Jackson, the pass to Leonard. Kicks it out to Jackson. Zubat, screen. The three is up. Jackson can't get it to go. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Grant with a screen on George. Here's Jordan. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the court. Shooters league now. Oh, unequivocally, B.A. Range shooting is always going to be in high demand, and the reason is it puts such pressure on your defense to guard the full length and breadth of the court. And so if you can shoot it, it matters if you have no other skill. If you can shoot it at a high level, you will have a place in today's NBA. Magruder, he's checked in for the Pistons. Detroit calls <laughs> Give them a hand, man. That's your quicker spirit dance team. Here's Cunningham. Defended by Jackson. Pass to Jordan. Fires for three. Batum pulls it in. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. And here's Jackson. Driving to the basket. And the dunk by Jackson. Jackson. They closed the gap over the last few possessions. Can they push through and grab the lead? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Here's Cunningham. George defending. Intercepted! Two minutes remain in the first Jackson half. on the wing. Two minutes. Jackson drawing the double team. Grant against George. Pass to Zubats. Clock at six. From the arc. George, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. George against Jordan. Down low. Tries again. And there's the bucket as Stewart finishes it off. Stewart's got four points this quarter. Well, just it's easy to say. This guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. Well, don't let the wise, quiet demeanor fool you. This guy has athleticism and explosiveness. How about that in style? So it's Detroit now. Following the score by the Clippers. Stewart, a screen on George, to the paint. And finished off by Stewart. Great game for him. Double-double now. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Here's Leonard. And no good, trying to use the glass. The Pistons leading. Here's Cunningham. From deep, Jordan. Counted. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. Here's Leonard. Deflected. Here's Batum. Drills it from deep. Batum's got six points. Slow reaction from the D, and it cost him three. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Jordan. Stewart, screen on George. Here's Cunningham, defended by Jackson. Back to Jordan. The three, and the Pistons, another three! Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking. Score. Your Clippers, 49. The Pistons, 59.
At small forward, Kawhi and Batum. Jackson and George, they're manning the backcourt. And it's Zubats in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Now here's Jordan. Give him 23. Shot clock at six. Grant outside. Pulls it from 20. And he hits the jumper for two. He's got 11. Very good awareness from Grant. Just the ability to catch and shoot. So important to his growth. Now here's Jackson, guarded closely. Pass to George. 4-3. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got seven assists in the game. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now here's Diallo. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Here's Leonard. That one a little long. Jordan with it. Pass to Cunningham. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Back to Jordan. Here's Stewart. Jordan finds Stewart. Diallo on the wing. Jordan, the pass to Graham. No good on the shot. And Los Angeles the other way now. George outside. And the layup is good off the glass. George has got five points now in the quarter. Well, Paul George has been cooking all night. The defense has nothing for him right now. Pass to Jordan. Let's it go from the wing. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And the Pistons lead by nine. For Los Angeles, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Leonard against Grant. Hey, great D that time from Grant. The Pistons shooting a solid 53% from the floor. And here's Diallo. Jordan against Jackson. Jordan, the pass to Diallo. And here's Grant from the arc. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Jackson with it. Picked up by Grant. Here's Batum. No good from outside. Detroit has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Jordan. From outside the arc. Rebounded by Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got five rebounds in the game. George outside. Here's Batum. Six points for him. And it's slammed in by Zubac. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. First. Here's Leonard. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to George. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Lyles. Well, the Pistons shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Now Jordan. Lyles a screen. And here's Jordan. There's the triple, and that's not going to go. And so it's Los Angeles. The score, your Clippers. 90, your Clippers. Right back after this. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Pistons. We've got Sadiq Bey. Also, Isaiah Stewart out there. Cunningham is out there with Hamadou Diallo. And it's Jordan in at the two. Five on the clock. Kicks it to George. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. 
Jordan. The pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. Diallo on the wing. Pass to Jordan. Shoots it from the corner. Yep, that one's good. Jordan's got 27 points. Well, Los Angeles shooting around 50% of the game so far. Now here's Leonard. Over Diallo. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Pistons shooting about 47%. A nice number. Now Jordan. For three. Gets the three to fall. Jordan's got five points now in the quarter. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. George is screen on Diallo. Leonard against Diallo. Shot by Leonard. No good. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Now here's Jordan. Tight defense on him. It's deflected. Now George. On the wing, Bledsoe. Here's Batum. And again, no good by the Clippers. The Pistons have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Jordan. The three ball. Another three, three for points. Detroit. And what an impact he's making from beyond the arc. A big three-pointer to narrow this lead. That's where the bulk of his offense has come from. And they're going to need a few more of them before this one's over. Zubac finds Bledsoe. And here's Leonard. There's the three. The shot, no good. The Pistons go the other way with it. Bay outside. From deep, Jordan. Pure from three-point range. Jordan's got 36 points. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's Clippers three in a row. Time called here. All right. Look who's coming on to the court. Come on, Jim. Substitution on the court. Pass to Diallo. Down low. Here's Grant. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Boy, great extension from Ibaka. His length always a factor. Screen by Ibaka. George passes to Ibaka. And the jam by Ibaka. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And you know they were praying for that one to go down. Let's prove it time. Fourth quarter. Don't get it done now. No more chances. Back to man. Just five to shoot. Ibaka with a screen on Grant. Shot is up. Detroit with a rebound. Lee's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Jordan. To tie it up. Connects again from distance. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Leonard outside. George outside. And he was fouled while in the act. Isaiah Stewart. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. And the Clippers making a change here. Zubac, he's checked in for Ibaka. And it's Jackson in for man. for your Clippers spirit. Substitution for your Clippers. If Pass to Jordan. Zubac, Reggie Jackson. Back to Lee. And here's Jordan. George defending. 
Grant with a screen on George. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, Grant throws it down. How about Jeremy Grant playing to his strength? Uses that athleticism to finish that one with authority. Leonard. And that one hits the back iron. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Pass to Lee. Back to Jordan. Grab the screen to take the lead. The Clippers grab the miss. Leonard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Jackson with it. Now here's Zubac. Covered by Diallo. Knocked away. And stolen by Diallo. Up ahead. That's good from Grant. On the assist by Jordan. Grant's got four points in the quarter. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guy. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Pass to Jordan. Takes the three, nails it from three. Jordan's got 42 in the game. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Looking to end the run, and that's going to be a travel. Just an unacceptable turnover. You have to know where you are. Cunningham's checked in for the Pistons. Your 24 left in the fourth quarter. And it's rejected. Leonard outside. Tries to break his ice. The bank shot, no good. The Pistons leading. Stewart, screen on George. And there's the foul. It's on even to Zubats. That's his second post of the foul. Set up in time. Stewart, a screen on Leonard. Zubats against Jordan. Just five to shoot. Takes a three. Good! Another from three. Man, he's really launching. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on, get loud for your Clippers spirit. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. George's shot is off. Now here's Jordan. Six on the shot clock. Grant, left side. Rebound by the Clippers. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle through much of the night. They just missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. Grant with a screen on George. Here's Jordan. Ooh, nice D from George. No good. That's the end of the game.